My name is Noah Moore. I'm the Business Development Director for NSC Technologies uh, out of Portsmouth, Virginia. And uh, I've had the great opportunity to come and have a, uh, uh, the gastric sleeve surgery here in Tijuana, Mexico. And I'll tell you, it, it's, been a, it's been a pretty eye-opening experience. I, I had the same problem that a lot of people did, uh, where my insurance company didn't pay for uh, the gastric bypass surgery or the lap band surgery or the gastric sleeve surgery. Uh, so I, I would have to, if I wanted to have that surgery in the States, I would have to have had everybody in my company put it on as a rider uh, onto their policy and, and that's not fair. Uh, when, when this opportunity came up and about uh, five months ago, I, maybe six months ago, I, I, you know, I told myself, do I want to change my life to that point or should I just stop eating hamburgers? Well. The, the, second, the second idea of just stop eating cheeseburgers has not worked for me since I was 22 years old and now I'm 43. So I don't think it's gonna get any easier. Uh, I decided to, to uh, do this surgery uh, mostly because I, I kept coming up with excuses uh, and finally the, the guy that owns our company came to me and said, no, I'll tell you what, how much does it cost? I said, well, it's about, it's about five grand altogether. You know, and he said, well, that doesn't sound like a whole bunch of money. I mean, you brought more than five grand in last week. We should be able to cover that. I said, yeah, Paul, but then, you know, I, I, I got to go down. There's plane flights down there, and there's a hotel room down there. And he said, okay, how much does that cost? I said, I don't know. We're talking about a couple grand more. Well, he said, you know what, no, I'm paying for the whole thing. Go down there and get it done. So I, I ran out of excuses is basically what happened, okay? I, I ran out of excuses, and my wife is sitting over there. She's 25 years old. Hey, come here, honey. Come here. I would step into the picture. <laughs> just walk over here. Listen, we're trying to make a baby, okay? This lovely lady right here, and we're trying to make a baby. And this is one of these steps that I have to take so that we can make a baby. Uh, this is one of these steps that we need to take so I don't have hypertension or diabetes. Uh, my, my, doctor, my doctor in the States actually told me, he said, Noah, I'm good enough that I, you know, you don't have diabetes, you don't have hypertension right now, but I'm good enough to tell you the date that you'll have it. And that scared the hell out of me. So there goes that excuse. The money was an excuse. They want that excuse. So now I'm here. And the only thing that was really troubling me about Tijuana, Mexico, is there's only a couple things I knew about Tijuana, and one of them was not medical professionalism. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the, this place is pretty tops. They put you in a, a private hospital. Uh, the, the place is, is cleaner than, than our hospital back home. The staff is, is, is the, you know what? The staff here, it, they're the kind of nurses that hold your hand when you're in pain, like when you were 10. All right, now, I, again, I'm 43 years old, but I like that, uh, you know, because I like a lot about that. Uh, they answered all my questions. They kept asking me if I needed anything. Uh, it's been a completely professional experience the whole way, and I would suggest that if anybody needs the help that I needed to come down here, this would be the route to go. This would be actually the first choice route to go. Yeah, and bring your wife. And bring your wife. That's right. Because the beach is right over there. <laughs> the doctor, let me tell you, you know, in, in the States, it's a little different. You never actually, you might meet your surgeon, you might shake his hand, he might, you know, ask you if you have any questions, then you never see the guy again, all right? My, my surgeon's ready to drive me back to the hotel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my surgeon is ready to run over there and buy me some more Gatorade if I need it. The, the surgeons here are on a, on a much more personal level than we have with the surgeons back home. Now. I'm not knocking on medical treatment back home, but back home, it, it's expensive, and, and you feel like part of a part of a process rather than part of an experience. Do you see what I'm saying? Here, it's more of an experience. It's more of a, a, a more, not, not so much a, you know not so much adventure as as they're, they're really giving more personal touch here, and that's what I appreciate the most. I think.